Dan Radio Style. Hope everybody out there is having themselves a great day. This is going to be a bit of an experiment. Obviously, you can see from the title. It has to do with us pushed out and certainly a comment I got from a viewer that I thought was a awesome comment. It was a comment, one, because for any of you that follow me at all, my concept of us pushed out is a little different than the standard one that's sort of thrown about. I'm not saying I'm right. I'm not saying everyone else is right or wrong. It's not an issue of that. The purpose of this particular video, as an experiment, is to kind of see if we can get a dialogue going in the comments. See if we can maybe get some of the positives and negatives or whatever pushed out there, obviously in a respectful manner, in a, in a, in a way that people can, can learn from and grow from, and kind of maybe even if it, there's a debate, that's totally fine. Uh, again, uh, respecting everyone's wishes. Now, to kind of cover the the basics of us pushed out, and then I'll get into what the comment was on one of my videos, and it was just beautiful. And I'm not going to say who it was. You guys can go find it and dig it up. That's fine. I usually just don't do that because I, I, a lot of reasons. So, us pushed out, I, I've said in a lot of videos, I think there's a, a component to it without a doubt. I think it's more of a projection issue. Uh, I, I, I And so I, I feel like we're always projecting outward onto everything and everybody. So a lot of the times the understandings we have about uh, what's happening to us in life or why so-and-so just cut me off or why this person over here just gave me a kiss on the cheek, like these things I think are projections out like what, what we decide it means, what we think it is, what we uh, understand it as I feel like is the us pushed out. Like that's what I, that's how I understand it. Again, I'm not saying I'm right or wrong. The way that other people see it also, uh, some people, I think, or at least maybe uh, I'm a little more in, in the center of it. Like, I don't think everything is just you pushed out. Like, there's a lot of people that 100% every single thing, always 100% of the time, is you pushed out, which means anything you experience, the way anybody behaves, the way your boyfriend behaves, the way your girlfriend behaves, the way uh, the nun at the church behaves, is all... 100% you pushed out always, always and forever. And there's people that completely, totally disagree and say that's not true at all. I have personally, as a rule in life, I, I stray from any other, any sort of black and white answer. It's always this. It's never that. It, those things don't work for me. I almost feel like as a rule, whenever someone says it's always this or it's never that, I almost immediately know that that can't be right because things almost always fall into a shade of gray. Almost always. And still, I'm not saying always. Most things are shades of gray. Uh, one of the best examples of something that is a, a, a black and white typical rule that I think a lot of people use to justify how things are maybe more of a shade of gray is 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 injuring another person beyond their life surviving it right like basically ending that for them now as a rule that's not okay black and white pretty solid you should never do any of those things you should never remove someone's life from them but as i always say if you're defending your life defending your family someone's attacking you guys and the only way that that can be stopped is by potentially causing the loss of the attacker's life then everyone pretty much unanimously, always, <laughs> agree that that's okay. It's justified. It's not, it's not good. It sucks. I'm really sorry you had to go through that experience. And yeah, we, someone lost their life. Someone that was probably crazy, maybe had issues, maybe things weren't right. Like, I mean, it's, a, it's unfortunate. Lives being lost is not okay. But that is one of those examples of something that's very black and white that's sometimes gray. Sometimes. That's a very typical when you think of the yin and yang or yin and yang or whatever, right? And it's got uh, it's got the you know the little swirly in the middle and white and black and a little bit of black and the white and a little bit of white and the black. That's a real good example of there's a teeny tiny little bit of bad and that good and a little teeny tiny bit of good and that bad, right? So that's a that's a good extreme for me. But again, to me, most things seem to fall in the middle. So the us pushed out thing, like I said, I think is really more in that kind of middle place. Like I'm not technically the other people they are not me they are not behaving necessarily because of me and and i could think of examples where there's multiple people maybe being affected by this individual maybe they're standing there with a blowhorn right and you could say well that's me pushed out well that's also that person pushed out that's also that person pushed out that's also that person all the people currently watching this guy on a blowhorn 
it's all of you pushed out then how can he be 50 people at once can he or is he acting in a way that all 50 of those people are looking for and projecting onto and this guy's saying what they want and they're like yes the meaning of what you're saying is exactly what i understand it to be that is a projection and that in my mind is us pushed out without a doubt my understanding of what this dude's saying is definitely different than the other person in the audience, than the other person in the audience, than the other person in the audience. We are all hearing the message differently, but we're looking at the same dude. So no, I do not think that dude is me at all. I think my understanding of that dude is what matters. Maybe a good example is Trump, right? For for any of the people out there that in this country anyway that absolutely hate Trump, to say that that is you pushed out would be a bit hard for them to swallow. And conversely, if you're someone that's pro Trump, <laughs> you're 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 going to see it the, all these other people will be like, "Hey, it's you pushed out. He's me pushed out too." Well, wait, you guys disagree on everything. How can it possibly be the same pushed out? You see one aspect of him, you see a different aspect of him. It's the same dude, same person, albeit hated by some people. It's the same person. So the us pushed out thing to me, I think, is far more complex than this very, no offense to anybody that believes it, very simplified kind of broad brush stroke that all people, all things are us pushed out. I just don't generally buy into the rule of all things are this thing. Ah. I think we get in a lot of trouble when we start trying to very black and white make rules. So, the comment. And again, I want people to comment. This, I think, is an experiment. I want to see if we can get a discussion going. What's us pushed out to you? What Am, am I crazy? I mean, try to be nice. Please don't be mean to me because like, I have feelings too, right? Like, I'm trying to be very respectful of the subject. But, like, are, are, are you one of those people that's like, it's always... Try to explain it a little, maybe. Give, you know, in a couple sentences. Why do you think it's... All people, all situations. I mean, I know Goddard says that. That doesn't count. Explain it. That's why a lot of people like my channel, right? I try to explain things. I don't just give a quote, a sentence, and say, well, Goddard said, so therefore. Okay, but what, what, huh? How? What? Why? Who? When? How do we do that? So give some examples. If I'm I mean, I, I, I'm looking forward to the discussion. I want to learn from people. I, you know, a great example of crazy stuff. I'll say crazy stuff because I'm a big into a lot of the crazy things. So I totally love crazy stuff. I read it all. I gobble it up. Good example. And my, some of my people might be into this. I'm sorry if I offend a few of you, but I'm grabbing something that's probably in the smaller uh, category of people that uh, of my channel are probably be like, dude. So there's a lot of people out there that believe the earth is flat. They call them the flat earthers, right? Now, there's been some, there's a lot of discussion around the subject. I, being someone that loves crazy things, have read and watched a few of the videos. I'm absolutely fascinated. Like, what is it that you're thinking that makes you think that the earth is flat? That's awesome. So I've kind of watched it. Now, I don't think the earth is flat, but I am very capable of appreciating the other side. I don't look at it and go, oh, man, you are nuts. I look at it and go, oh, okay, that's where you're coming from, right? Like, even if, even if it's insane, I've talked to crazy people. I used to work in customer service. Crazy people come up to you sometimes, and you've got to entertain the fact. Great example. Loved it. Funny. Lady came into the coffee shop I was working at, literally had all these stuffed animals. Now, I'd seen her pushing them around in the parking lot in a shopping cart, just full of stuffed animals, a bunch of stuffed animals. She sets them all up at her table except one. One stuffed animal. No, 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 no. You're not allowed at this table. And she put that stuffed animal at a different table. That stuffed animal was sitting all by itself. <gasps> How dare you do that to a stuffed animal? Well, of course, I had to ask her. I'm like, is that one misbehaving? And she's like, yes. Crazy person. Get along fine. We got along great. I knew she was crazy. I didn't need to make fun of that, make light of that. She was obviously in her own little place. These things, maybe they talk to her, maybe they talk to each other, I, maybe they have feelings, I, I don't know. But she deliberately separated that troublemaker from the rest. So it's okay 
to have a different opinion. I'm not saying all people that have different opinions are crazy. I'm just giving a good example of when it's okay. Again, a more black and white example of something. Now, we're all in different varying spectrums of our understanding. So please be understanding of that. But at the same time, here's an opportunity to hopefully, in a kind way, share your thoughts on it, your feelings on it. Share with everybody. I want this to be the video that has the most comments out of all my videos. This is the one that's got like, you know, 10 times more comments. Because I want to see a discussion happen. I really, from my standpoint, I want to hear what you guys have to say. What's your thought on this? What's us pushed out to you? There is no right answer, I assure you. And there's certainly no wrong answer, I assure you. What's your thoughts? Give some examples. Maybe illustrate it the best you can. However that works out for you. Help me understand and help everyone else understand why you think it's the way it is. Now, let me get into the, the little comment, which I thought was well said, and it's also meant to kind of exemplify this. So I'll spend a couple seconds yeah, on what she says after. But I think it helps exemplify kind of what I prefaced, right? So let's, we'll see. I don't know. We'll see. Like I said, it's an experiment video, but I think this is the right crowd, right? Us pushed out. It's a big deal. We all talk about it. It is a thing that everyone says, broad brush, bleep, right? So, okay. So, with patience, I've realized that I am worth more. Truth time. Meaning, like, this is where I'm going to, where the money, where the rubber meets, meets the road, or where, uh, put your money where your mouth is, as they sometimes say. So, truth time. All this while, I've been trying to manifest a guy who isn't what I want him to be convincing myself that I am evoking these undesirable qualities in him as he is me pushed out. Now, I can change him or I can manifest a person who actually has all the qualities I am looking for. And if it is indeed him, same dude, then this is this no contact. All this stuff I'm going through right now, she's saying, and everything in between us serves a higher purpose, which means all this crap we're going through right now, the separation between him and I, the reason this person and I, the way he's acting, all of this stuff means something, matters something, has a higher purpose. And then if that's the case, he'll come when the time is right, meaning when the timing is perfect, when he finally comes to some conclusion, where I finally come to some realization about who I am relative to this. And maybe I finally say, screw this. It's not important. And he suddenly goes, oh my God, I'm a loser. And that's the thing that brings us together. Who knows? Finally, her last little statement is, patience and focusing on myself is kind of my only choice right now. And then she says some nice stuff to me and then love you. And I love you too. Good person. So the question comes to a lot of us is, well, it's just you pushed out. Obviously, you can change that person. You can change that person simply by changing yourself because they're there. They're you. They are you. So, of course, all you've got to do is change you, and you can change you. Now, for some of you that hate Trump, I recommend you try to fix him because there's a lot of people that are very upset with him, right? And some of you that maybe don't hate him, maybe you can change all the people that hate him and, and then get you guys all on the same page, and maybe that works out better. I don't know. I don't know what the right way to go is there, but maybe we can meet in the middle where we can all actually talk to each other about this guy and not actually freak out and not call each other names either. If I agree with like he did, he did 10 things and four of them I kind of like, like that's actually good. Like it's helping me out. It's helping a lot of people out. Right. But six of them are kind of weird, right? Let's, let's talk about them. Let's be okay with the fact that I like some of it and not all of it. That should be okay. But a lot of us are very black and white. It's us pushed out. It's not us pushed out. What's going on? So a lot of us feel there was a part in this that I thought was amazing. It's been trying to manifest a guy that's been convincing myself to evoke these undesirable qualities in him. It's me pushed out. Now I can change him or I can manifest a person who actually has all the qualities I'm looking for. And if all this no context is everything between us serves a higher purpose, then he's going to come when the timing is right. Now, this brings up kind of another point which again, the comment I wanted to kind of be more around the us pushed out, but this brings up, I think, a valid point, and maybe it's a bonus that comes with the video, who knows, right? Get it on DVD. <laughs> um, it serves some higher purpose, which means to me, especially when there's an SP involved or an X, that sometimes there's a little more under the current than you realize. I don't know if you've ever stepped in a river. They always say be careful in rivers. One, because you can have moss and weird stuff on the rocks, right? Algae, 
right? It makes them slippery. Ah! And then, but the other side is when you step on the water, a lot of the times the current is way the F stronger under the water than it is on top of the water. And you step into it and you're like, blah, right? You're like, see ya. Don't want to be ya. So sometimes there's a lot more going on than we see. And I've talked about it frequently, how so many of us look at our right now and make all these decisions. That's us pushed out. Yes. You're deciding based off of you. You don't have actual facts in front of you. You don't have information that's useful in front of you. You don't. You don't. You might have an Instagram post. You might have some comment. You may even have him kissing another girl. Maybe it was a bet. Maybe it was wrong. Maybe it was right. Whatever. But what if something comes from that, some sort of guilt, maybe in his mind, right? Maybe he's in Vegas and some crazy random person, ah, wow. you're like, oh, that was, ah. right? And then later you're like, oh, man, I feel really bad because I love so-and-so and I just let some weird stranger give me herpes. Like, what the hell? So again, sometimes there's a lot more going on than meets the eye. But so many of us look at that and decide what that means. Decide what's going on inside that other person. Decide who this third party is. We decide what everything is. That's us pushed out. You're not changing them. In fact, what they did seen by 50 other people standing around them, will be different. Each person will perceive that differently. Now, of course, in the case of your SP, there's not 50 other people. My God, if there's 50 other women, get away from this man. He is trouble. Probably comically so, but he's definitely trouble. He's like Wilt Chamberlain style, and that's probably an old reference. I don't know who a younger uh, reference might be that uh, would be inappropriate with his promiscuity. I'm thinking of the... Uh, I can't remember his name. Oh, it's killing me. Oh, well, uh, it would, it, it's oddly appropriate right now because he was on some interview and he freaked out. And anyway, I can't remember his name. <laughs> anyway, not okay. My point is, us pushed out is a lot of things. A lot of people use it as a crutch, and I don't think that's a good idea. No matter what, no matter what side of the fence you fall on, saying everything carte blanche is us pushed out, I think is kind of rough because you get yourself into a point sometimes where maybe you're dealing with someone that's not really you. And you're trying to change them because you keep figuring it's something wrong with you. But it's not something wrong with you. The only thing wrong with you is that you're still trying to make a relationship happen with this person that's obviously punching babies and kicking puppies every chance they get. Maybe not in that order. I mean, you know, they might switch it up from day to day. Don't want to get in a rut. Who does? Seriously. So things are oftentimes way larger than I think our simplified versions of explaining things really allow for, if that counts. That's a really oddly put sentence, but hopefully it made a little sense. Let's talk about us pushed out. Let's get a discussion going. Let's think about it. I think I bring up some decent perspectives on how it's not always black and white, but I look forward to someone showing me how it is. And maybe I'm just missing a, a connection there. And I'll, I'll give you all sorts of points if, if you do. Uh, if not, maybe this helps expand some of our thinking into a place where you're like, yeah, okay, I can kind of see what you're saying. It's not necessarily always just us pushed out. I mean, come on, I, that's ridiculous. So just most of the time, 99% of the time, yes. But there are times. I, that's a step in the right direction for my mind. Because, again, I'm very not fond. I mean, again, we have a, a test out here in the States. A lot of you from here know it. It's called the SAT, right? I mean, a lot of us took it right, right in high school. It helps you get into college. It's basically an aptitude test, what the A stands for. Um, and it helps decide how smart you are. Basically an IQ test. For lack of a better way, it's basically an IQ test. So they make you take this test. And there's classes you can go to that help teach you. Uh, how to properly take this test. And one of the things in multiple choice tests, maybe you don't know this, maybe you do, I don't know. But one of the things they teach you is generally when you're looking at four answers, if one of them says eh, always or never, or uh, you know, one of those situations where it's one of those very strong words, like there's no chance where it's this thing over here, almost guaranteed is going to be a wrong answer. Because very seldom are things always or never a certain way. It's dangerous when we look at stuff that way. Things are always grayish. Maybe really, really super duper dark gray. 
But I'll bet you there's still a hint and a little bit of not not total black, right? Not total absence of color. If you're an art person. Wait, no. Art people, sorry. If you're physics, it's an absence of color. If you're an art person, it's all the colors put together. There you go, right? It's kind of backwards, which I always thought was kind of interesting, right? Art, like when we make colors, black is all colors. But in uh, the universe, black is an absence of light. It's an absence of color. Kind of cool. Anyway, colors, you know, reflection. Anyway, I, this is what happens when you talk to me about goofy stuff. Stay on radio style. Can't expect much more than that, right? If you like what you got going on, please comment. Want that for sure. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. Uh, us Pushed Out, man. It's a good discussion. If you've got friends maybe that are really into this Us Pushed Out stuff, maybe, you know, shoot them a little link and say, hey, Dan's got a cool little point here. I'm curious what you think. Throw a comment in there. Love it. You guys are the best. Thank you so much. Dan Radio Style.